So I'm out and about today, this Sunday morning. All right. Um, I got some coolers behind me. Anybody who knows me, uh, they're laughing because I bought more coolers, but I got permission to do so. Uh, that's a whole nother story. I got some coolers, but I also went to Walmart because my wife wants to put a shelf together. I do all these videos and so I got all this video stuff. So we need a place to put it all, right? So I go to Walmart in my shirt. Uh, I just make these shirts, you know what I'm saying? They are for sale, all right? Um, um, I go to Walmart in, in, in my shirt. I don't really like going to Walmart. I try to go to Walmart as little as possible. Um, I can afford the stuff, right? But the, the sometimes the, the, the mood in Walmart be suspect. And you know, me being who I am, a black man and I feel like sometimes I'm followed in those stores and it bothers me. And I don't really like the customer service if there is any, if I'm being honest. Um, I don't hate nobody at Walmart, but that's just the feeling I get. So I try not to go, but my wife found the shelf that she wanted and it's there. I get the shelf, I got it in the cart and I go to the register. I don't really mess with self-checkout, so I go to the register. There's this couple in front of me, an older couple, right? And then we sitting there and uh, I'm, I'm just standing there and she's and this lady's looking at me and I'm just kind of like, what did I do? You know what I mean? But I'm like, whatever, people people look, people stare. It is what it is. And she walks up to me and goes, hey. And she points to me. And she goes, could you pray for my husband? Yeah, he just got diagnosed with terminal cancer. All right? And I'm, I'm sitting there like, really? Wow, yeah. She's like, could you pray for him? I'm like, yeah, absolutely. Do you mind if I pray for him right now? I said, what's your husband's name? She said, Harold. And I, said, and I asked her, what's her name? Uh, she said, Ann. So I said, may I pray for you? And she goes, Harold, Harold, he, he wants to pray for you. I said, and he was like, okay. And so we we stood there. And while while the ladies scanning their, you know, their items, I prayed for this couple. And I just prayed that God would heal Harold of his of his cancer. Uh, I didn't I didn't know where it was. She didn't tell me exactly where it was. But I just prayed that God would heal him. And that uh, with this COVID season, that he would still feel the love of his family members. Because if you've been to a hospital recently with the COVID, COVID thing going on, Everybody can't come see you, right? Uh, like my wife is pregnant and we're, we are going back and forth if, you know, they'll let us in the room for the baby to be delivered. Like, is that, is that real right now? And so like to be diagnosed with terminal cancer in this season of where we are in life and COVID, um, what a scary thing, man. And I'm just like, my goodness. And I just pray for my pray for healing. I pray for God's love to be shown on them and may they feel his hope. Uh, and may they feel the love of him and, and also his love through his family, uh, kids and loved ones. May they come around him and show him love and may he feel loved. And I pray that I pray that God would help them through through this time. You know, it's scary. What a scary like no COVID or not. Someone gets diagnosed with terminal cancer. You're scared. You're worried. You're anxious. You're freaking out. Naturally so. And so. I just pray that God would heal and his love would be shown and they would see his love and they, he would be glorified through what he's going to do in their lives, man. Um, and then at the end of it, and you know, she does her, uh, uh, you know, the, the Catholic thing, you know, father, son, Holy spirit, all that. Amen. You know what I mean? So, um, and it was such a blessing. And she goes, thank you so much. And Harold says, thank you. And then she pulls out a picture her granddaughter sent, uh, of, uh, of them two kissing on 4th of July. You know what I mean? And so she, and she's like, we got, we got, she, I forget how many kids we got. We got seven grandkids and, and we all want them around. I said, I can imagine. I can imagine. And I was just like, and she was just like, thank you so much. I'm like, absolutely. God bless you. Just know I'm going to be praying for you still. I'm going to tell my church about you. We will be praying for you. Um, and all right. So that doesn't happen if I don't have this shirt on. It doesn't happen if I don't have this shirt on. I I didn't know that lady. I didn't know her and her husband from, you know, anybody else in that building. Had I not had this shirt that says, how can I pray for you? I don't get to know that. How many people around you are going through some of the deepest, darkest moments in their lives? And you'll never know because they're complete strangers for the most part. But a shirt like this. Now, will everyone walk up to me and ask me for prayer? No. It doesn't happen. I've had the shirt on twice. This is the first time it's happened. But for that to be the first time this has happened, something so real, something so serious, something that hits home, my God, this shirt is effective. This message is effective, all right? Yeah, I'm selling these shirts, and I would love it if you bought them from me. But if you want to make your own and go out here and wear them, do it. This is not about me making money. This is about let's give somebody hope. How many people around us need hope? If you're on social media... 
You see the comments and the and the pictures and the memes and the threads and the statuses. People are in disarray with COVID, with race and culture in this world, with everything, man. Like, and then personal issues. I mean, man, forget a COVID. How about marriages and parenting and, and family issues and everything else? Who doesn't need hope sometimes? And if you are a Christian, a believer in Jesus Christ, how do you not give people this, man? And so, like, I just want to... I just want to tell you, man, like God is real. God loves you. And there is hope for you. There is hope for you. And if you are a believer, get a shirt like this. I am selling them. You don't have to get it from me. Buy it from somebody else. Make your own. Get a shirt like this and wear it around. What an easy way to give someone hope who wants it, right? What an easy way to uh, share your faith without Bible bashing, without judging somebody, just praying for somebody. Use this as a status. I mean, put it up on, on your on your social medias as a status and just see what happens. I've done it many times. You'd be, you'd be surprised how many people respond and some of the things they respond about. I've had some of the realest, you know, I've had some of the realest prayer requests ever just by putting that status up. Hey, how can I pray for you? How can I pray for you today? As believers in Jesus Christ, we believe that prayer is powerful. We believe it's direct communication to the God of all creation and that he wants to answer prayers. What an awesome way to get in touch with somebody, to, to connect with somebody. You know what I mean? Harold and Ann, I'll never forget them for the rest of my life and I'll probably never ever see them again. It don't matter. Mind you, I'll tell you, and also Harold and Ann, two old white people. You know what I mean? We want to talk about race and division and whatnot. That woman did not see just a black man in front of her. She saw a person with a shirt on who was willing to pray for anybody about anything because that's what the shirt that's what the shirt means. Right. And she said, my husband has terminal cancer. I'll take all the prayer I can get. But look, race and culture, culture means something. Let's celebrate different races and different cultures as we should be. But, man, we should be loving people. We should be loving people. We should be caring for them. We should be sharing the gospel if we love them. If we're believers and we believe that Jesus is the answer, we should be sharing the gospel. We should be living out the gospel. We should be living out the grace that God has given us. And this is all stuff. And also, if you're not in a good place in life, buy the shirt. Because I realize that when I'm not in a good place, I can still serve God. Because my faith in God is not based on my circumstances, right? So when I struggle in life and I've sinned and I've fallen and I'm in pain and I'm in fear and I'm anxious, I feel like, man, don't talk about God today because it's going to sound fake. But it isn't. God reaches us in the low places. Jesus reaches us in the low places. Grace is grace is undeserved favor. I have grace over my life, which means that I've never deserved what God has given me and I never will, but he gives it anyway and I can celebrate his grace and his love for me. His love is grace for me, you know? So, man, it was just, it was a different vibe than what I get most of the times at Walmart. And it was because I wore a shirt with, you know, just having my faith on my shirt, just having my faith on my shirt, offering something to someone. A lot of times we feel like if we can't do something for somebody, if we can't buy them something, uh, we can't, then therefore we can't do anything for them. But that's so not true. Now, I'm not against doing something for people, serving people, helping people out when we can, money, uh, help, you know, fixing things, go for it. We, all of that is good and love. But as a Christian, as a believer, pray for people. Before you go out and serve anybody, pray. Pray that God puts you in the right circumstances. Pray that God puts you in, in, in front of the right people to do and say the right things, right? Uh, and therefore, when the gospel is shared, it hits home so much deeper because they see people living this thing out. I am so blessed by what has happened. Yes, I'm trying to run a business. I'm trying to make a t-shirt business and I'm going to make more of these shirts and I got more shirts to make. And I would love it if you buy them from me. I mean it. I don't have a website yet. Inbox me. I will mail you the shirts. I promise you. I will get you whatever shirt you want. But I am asking you to put your faith out for people. It's such a scary time. People are so scared right now with everything going on. Give someone hope. Give someone hope. And we as believers, we don't believe the hope we're given is false. Now, if you're not a Christian, I love you. And I understand if you don't agree or even understand what I'm saying, that's cool. That's cool. I get that. 
But for Christians, show your faith. Show your faith. It is time. We can't make excuses anymore. Most churches aren't even open anymore. We are out and about. We're still going to grocery stores. We got to wear a mask or whatever. We're out and about. Look, God loves you. God loves you. And your faith was never meant to be hidden. Your faith was never meant to be hidden. Your faith was always meant for you to show it and, and live it out. To, to, to tell people about it and to live it out. To do it. Do it. Live your faith out. All right? In such an easy way. Be able to sit down and just talk to someone. Ask questions and listen to somebody. A lot of times when people are going through things, what they need to hear is just someone who will listen to them. What they need to see is someone who will just sit there and listen to them. Maybe cry with them. Just feel bad for them. A lot of times we don't have the right words to say. When somebody's going through something really bad, we all we don't always have the right words to say. And we don't need to. We can't fix anything. I didn't I didn't fix those people. Harold still has cancer. I prayed that God would heal him of that cancer. I pointed him to the direction of the person I feel like who can heal him of that cancer. All right. And I'm not saying that doctors won't do it and doctors can't do it. I, I pray that God uses the doctors to take the cancer out or just miraculously take it out. I don't care which way he does it. I'm personally going to give God the glory for all of that. I thank God for doctors. I thank God for people who study medicine, who want to help people. You know what I mean? Like this is not to start an argument. This is to go. That couple left Walmart feeling better, feeling like someone loved them. And they don't even know me. We'll probably never meet again. But it, somebody cared enough to make a shirt and or wear a shirt that just offers prayer to somebody. Again, when you walk outside with this shirt on, is everybody going to ask you for prayer? No, because it doesn't happen. But it's not for everybody. If I didn't have this shirt on, they don't get prayed for today. If I don't have this shirt on, we don't share that moment. If I don't have this shirt on, I don't get to tell you that Harold has cancer because I would have never found out. Right. They got their mask on. They got the gloves on. They But they got to go shopping, man. They still got to live worried about if he's going to die. How can I pray for you? Is there anything I can do for you? Live your faith out. Live your faith out. I need to get in the house because uh, it's hot out here. Uh, but look, y'all. Pray for people. Pray for people. Do this daily and buy a shirt. Make a shirt. You don't look. You ain't got to buy a shirt. I don't care. Don't you ain't got to buy a shirt for me. Would I appreciate it? Yeah, I appreciate it. My family would appreciate it. You know what I mean? But get your faith out there. You wear shirts with your favorite sports team every day and everybody knows what team you rep and you got it on your car and everything else. Uh, put your faith out there and not just, hey, I go to this church. Good. Amen. That's awesome. But hey, look, how can I pray for you? Boom. And you'd be surprised what answers you get. You'd be surprised if someone comes up to you, you'd be surprised what they have to say to you because it's real out here. People need help. People need love. People feel so alone. In a world with 7 billion people, people feel so alone. So please go. So this is how I'm going to pray for you right now. I'm going to pray for us. Pray for us, all of us. Lord, I just want to thank you for this moment. I want to thank you for the opportunity that I got to have. I thank you for the opportunity that this video will present to uh, those who believe in you and those who don't. Um, may they know us by our love for each other and also our love for you. And therefore, our love for them. Though, to those who don't know you, may you share your love with them. May you use us as believers in you to share your love for those people and how much we care about them and how much it's not about anything else but who they are. Not what they do or what they don't do. Because you don't love me for what I do and don't do. You love me for me. And none of us deserve your love. Thank you for your grace. Father God, touch the lives of people. I pray that anyone who has a shirt on like this are touching lives of people they don't know and that they do know. Move in extraordinary ways. Holy Spirit, just do miraculous things. May the gospel be shared. May it be lived out. 
May this message, may this question, may it touch the lives of people who do know you and who don't. And maybe even those, and definitely of those who, who maybe have strayed away. Your love is real. It's changed my life. And I pray that you continue to change lives through your love and use me and anyone who claims you as their savior for your glory, for other people to reach you. Let your sun shine down on us, Jesus. I ask and pray this in your name. Amen. I love you. I love you. All right. I'll see y'all later. Peace.